Hello my dear students, listeners and learners. Let's study about electronegativity which is a periodic properties of an element in this periodic table. And you know already that I have uploaded a series of videos on periodic table and also in periodic properties and this is the last class of the periodic properties of elements which is about electronegativity. So let's define the electronegativity as that it is a concept. It is a concept like a it actually describes that the attractions of shared electrons when these atoms take part in a covalent bond then the attractions the tendency of an atom to attract the shared pair of electrons to themselves so how to define this electronegativity negativity think about uh, think about the covalent bond and you know that in, in the chapter chemical bond you have already studied about ionic bonds or and the covalent bonds so the covalent bond is that when two atoms shared the same number of electrons with them so that that shared electrons the paired electrons should be in between these two atoms but when 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 that tendency of an atom to attract so which is pretty similar with electron affinity so more electron affinity it means that similar attitude of more electronegativity so as you already studied about electron affinity that means how likely an atom wants to have electrons so it depends on what and it's as it is a periodic properties it has some it has some periodic relationships with the atomic radius as you know that the atomic radius decrease when I go through across uh, a periods you know that atomic radius will decrease if you go to right from left and of course in case of groups if you go from upwards to downwards the atomic radius will increase likely electronegativity electronegativity is a vice versa relation like in previously you already have studied that ionization energy electron affinity and electronegativity all these three periodic properties is the vice versa properties of atomic radius so as from left to right if i go across a periods then as atomic radius will decrease the electronegativity will increase and also as downwards the electronegativity will decrease like how suppose in case of water molecule which is very common example here to explain this thing that you see that oxygen oxygen will have six electrons like in case of oxygen eight we know that this is 1s2 2s2 and 2p6 so it has uh, sorry 2p4 mm, it means in the second shell it has six electrons and these six electrons among them among them electrons is shared electrons is shared with hydrogen suppose this is hydrogen and this is hydrogen so when it forms a water molecule then two paired electrons two shared electrons will form because two hydrogen is attached with water so these paired electron and also you can say the shared electrons should be in between these two atoms but the electronegativity of oxygen is much higher than hydrogen so that what it does like it attracts these electrons to itself and then what happens when oxygen attracts the shared electron into itself then it becomes slightly negative and then this hydrogen became slightly positive and you know that is the explanation of why water is a polar solvent you must, you must understand one thing that water is actually a polar solvent as because as because it has the polarity the polarity means two poles so water is a polar solvent as because it has the polarity it means it has two poles like positive and negative and this positivity and negativity creates from the electronegativity at least when oxygen attracts this paired electrons to itself then it becomes negative 
and this negativity makes the other atoms positive and that is why this positivity and negativity in the same molecule in two different atoms creates the polarity and that is why water is a polar solvent and you see that electronegativity exactly is the tendency of an atom to attract the shared or pair electron to itself when it takes part in the covalent bond. So I hope you understand that ne electronegativity, why it's a, a periodic properties because you see if you go like that, the electron electronegativity of fluorine is greater than oxygen and oxygen is greater than nitrogen. So if you go on the right side, electronegativity will increase. And similarly, like in, in case of chlorine, in case of chlorine, if you go, that chlorine electronegativity is higher than sulfur and sulfur electronegativity is higher than phosphorus. But if you go downwards, that fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and then you see that the electronegativity of fluorine is higher than chlorine and the electronegativity of chlorine is also higher than bromine. Because if you go downwards, then electronegativity will decrease. So the electronegativity of chlorine is less than fluorine and electronegativity of chlorine is higher than bromine. So simply, if you go downwards, electronegativity will decrease as because the electron the radius of the atom or atomic ready is increasing when I go downwards so it's a vice versa so the periodic properties of electronegativity means that if you go right from left electronegativity will increase if you go downwards electronegativity will decrease so I hope you understand that what is electronegativity you just remember the definitions and the concept of water so that oxygen is attracting the shared or paired electrons in a covalent bond so that oxygen is getting partially negative and hydrogen is positive and that is the main basic of polarity in case of covalent compounds so I hope you understand and of course uh, Till now that I have uploaded the series of videos I hope you have seen all the videos if you like it then do let me know that do you really understand whole the periodic table that I explained in my channel and of course do let me know your feedback see you on the next class stay well stay blessed bye